The emerald ash borer has been found in Colorado, and with its arrival, many of our urban ash trees are threatened by this pest. Early detection of its presence is crucial to planning and carrying out control in our communities. Visual surveys checking trees can be helpful in identifying infested trees, but often signs aren't visible until the tree has been infested for two years or longer, giving the bugs plenty of time to increase their numbers. The best method for early detection is through branch sampling, which is a highly effective method for finding EAB populations before outward signs or symptoms become apparent. Up to 74% of infested trees, even those that aren't showing symptoms, can be found using this simple technique. Here's how to do it. You're looking for larvae under the bark, so plan to branch sample between September and May, and if you can, wait until after October when the larvae are big with easy to see galleries. Though branch peeling is simple, peeling bark to detect EAB takes practice and a good eye. It's recommended that you utilize a vise to stabilize the branch during the peeling process. Using sharp draw knives, Remove strips of bark in paper-thin layers, trying not to let the blade bite too deep into the wood. EAB larvae are flat and easily missed if the peeled strip of wood is too thick. Often you'll run across the galleries first, where the larvae have been busy feeding on cambium and growing larger. These winding, serpentine paths often show up deeper under the bark than you think, so be patient when peeling. Once a gallery is found, you'll often see sawdust-like material in the gallery called frass. This is the waste material left behind by the insect, and you can tell if it's a current season gallery because, when fresh, it's a light bright tan color. As the frass ages, it gets darker in color. Once you've uncovered a gallery, delicately shave the wood off the log to expose the larva. In late winter, Galleries often look as if they are a dead end with no larva there, but be persistent in peeling because the larva go deeper into the sapwood to overwinter. Continue peeling to look under the gallery to find the prepupal chamber where larvae are resting. Often, first signs of where the chambers are is a pair of small ovals spaced approximately an inch apart. There is a slight discoloration of the wood between them. Gently excavate around the ovals to uncover the larvae. Once the larvae are in their prepupal chamber, they fold back on themselves and are in a characteristic J shape. The larvae are white, flat-headed borers with bell-shaped segments. They're sometimes difficult to tell apart from the color of the sapwood, so be careful when extracting them from the chamber. Gently pry them from their chamber using the tip of a knife or tweezers being careful not to squish them, they're really soft. For confirmation, never move live larva. Put the larva in alcohol with collection information, which would be the location of the find and date of collection. If you find anything you suspect is emerald ash borer, contact the Colorado Department of Agriculture, your local Colorado State University Extension Office, or the Colorado State Forest Service at eabcolorado.com. They'll help you send your sample safely to an expert who can identify it.